So if you've watched a couple of my videos, you'll probably know I enjoy a good old wrestling game from time to time. I've practically grown up playing WWE games from SmackDown Know Your Role and Here Comes the Pain to the SmackDown vs Raw series which are games that are weirder than I ever remember. Like remember the time Boogeyman turned Santino Morella into an actual zombie? Yeah, that happened. Basically what I'm trying to say is that I've played a lot of wrestling games throughout my time. Now do you know what else I grew up with? The Simpsons. And in all my years of watching The Simpsons and playing wrestling games, I never once ever thought that the two things should go together. Yet someone did, which spawned this absolute abortion of a game. Known as one of the worst games of all time, The Simpsons Wrestling came out on the PS1 in 2001, and as you could tell, was deceived by audiences about as well as someone slapping a bear with a cold fish. And by that I mean, it was viciously mauled, never to see the light of day again. Now there's been quite a few Simpsons games come out over the years. I mean, who could forget the instant classic The Simpsons Hit and Run, which is remembered fondly as an utterly fantastic and fun game. But then the rest of the games range from, ah oh, well, at least you tried, to I would rather have a chew off my own fingers than play this game. And guess which one falls at the bottom of that very big pile? I don't even understand who thought putting these two concepts together was a good idea. Who wanted this? Who legitimately wanted to see Homer and Marge have a domestic dispute and a massive ring slapped in the middle of Springfield? The Simpsons wasn't exactly a hot commodity at the time either, becoming incredibly stale with the release of its 12th season. I guess wrestling was pretty big at the time, but I still just don't understand why this game exists. If you're wanting to make a Simpsons game, just make a Simpsons game. If you're wanting to make a wrestling game. Just make a wrestling game. But here the developers just crammed these two things together and just prayed for the best. Who even made this game? Developed by Big Eight Productions. A company that has developed four games with one of them being, oh, MTV Celebrity Deathmatch. Oh, I can see you're in good hands, boys. Now, as I started the game up, I had absolutely no clue what to expect. And then the start screen popped up and I was simply overcome with emotion at just how beautiful it looked. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, doesn't this look just great? <laughs> Once I wiped away the tears, I pressed start, and after the game froze for a couple of seconds, um, hello? Y you good there? I was presented with the most bare bones main menu you have ever seen, but hey, at least I've got some funky music to listen to. Oh, this is gonna be a long fucking video. Anyway, after I muted my TV, I looked to see what I could actually do in this game. And a lot of the options seemed to be blanked out for me, including the exhibition mode. Why? Out of all things, why, in a wrestling game, would you have the fucking exhibition mode locked? It's like having a racing game but having the cars locked. It doesn't make sense. Right, so I guess the only thing I can really do here is play the challenger circuit, which I assume is the game's story mode, but before we get into that, oh my god, what have they done to Krusty? So this is the character selection screen, and it looks, well, horrifying. The larger pictures on the top left look like they were done in MS Paint, and the ones on the sliders somehow look even worse. Like Krusty looks like he's done so much coke he's fallen into another plane of reality, Willie is more beard than man, and Marge is having Vietnam flashbacks. I eventually picked Willie to play as, cause you know, got to embrace that good old Scottish heritage somehow. Plus his name's Willie, and that's just comedy gold. Then I got into the actual match as Willie told me about his anger management and alcohol problems. Usually I'd let you go, but I got a nasty temper and been drinking all day. For just £2 a week you can help alcoholic Willies get the help they need. Just dial the number on screen right now. Every match has these little introductions to the characters you play as, and while I appreciate them being slightly different depending on who you're fighting, and they somehow managed to get the actual voice actors to agree to put their names onto this, but these introductions are about as funny as well, being repeatedly punched in the face. <laughs> Hey Red, what's with your face? It looks like someone beat me to the punch. Could you laugh at my jokes? <laughs> you serious? The jokes, if you can even call them that, are pretty fucking awful with there being about zero thought put into them. Yeah, Red Nose reminds me of my drunken dad, so I'll have to kill you. Ah, good old relatable content. Listen, Red. I've had plenty of guys come after me and I buried them all. Crush, you can't be saying that in front of kids. Although they do all look dead behind the eyes, so I don't think it matters. Speaking of which, along with the piss poor writing, the game also looks just about as bad. Sure, the models aren't terrible, but everything else from the weird 2D background characters that never move to the awful animations for majority of attacks, it all just screams low effort. I mean, just fucking look at the state of this. Is Apu trying to hit me or having an epileptic fit? I genuinely can't tell. Also, if you think I'm being too harsh on this old PS1 game, just remember this 
this came out in 2001. Both the SmackDown games, No Mercy, WrestleMania 2000, WWF Attitude, ECW Anarchy Rules, hell, even fucking Warzone, all came out before this game and were miles ahead in terms of presentation and stuff you could actually fucking do. Plus, none of them had the exhibition mode lot. Oh yeah, you know how I'm playing the challenger circuit of this game? Which is effectively the game's story mode. Keyword being story. Yeah, well I'm happy to report there is fuck all story to be seen here. There's nothing here. No cutscenes, no dialogue or text boxes, not even a fucking scrolling wall of text to explain why everyone in Springfield's decided to have a bloody scrap. And because I hate myself, I went over to Google to see if there was an actual plot to this game, and after searching through more Simpsons fan pages than any man should, the only thing I could find is that apparently the reason everyone is fighting it's because some aliens challenged them to a wrestling tournament. Okay, sure, fuck it, it makes about as much sense as the rest of this game. Now, good graphics and an interesting story don't mean everything, so maybe the actual gameplay can save this. Oh, no, never mind, it's fucking awful. Right, here's the positives. Nothing. And now for the negatives. The entire fucking game! Seriously, normally I can find something good to talk about, but here, there is literally nothing worth praising. First thing you'll notice is that the AI is about as well programmed as a block of cheese. Yeah, so the AI is, um... <laughs> It's great in this game. All the AI does is just aimlessly run around throwing punches at the thin air, hoping that you'll eventually decide to just walk into their fist. Mind you, the controls aren't any better, as you have to suffer through button delays every two seconds while trying to move around the ring that feels more like a fucking ice rink given how poor the movement is, making it a struggle to get anywhere near your opponent in the first place. As for what you can actually do here, each character has free attacks. Yes, free attacks, because nobody wants variety these days. Square is your regular basic attack, Triangle does a slightly stronger attack, I guess. And you have Circle, which is a special attack unique to the character you're playing as. Like, for example, Marge launches Maggie at you, and Willie throws down bear traps, which you can use to crush Bart's head. What age rating is this game again? 3 plus? Yeah, that's fine. The real question here is, where are you pulling those out from, Willie? All these attacks are pretty much rendered useless, though, as there's no point in trying to do different ones because they effectively all do the same amount of damage. And it's much easier to just spam your regular attacks, so you just end up repeatedly mashing the square button for 10 minutes until you win. Plus, to even pull off other attacks, you need to have a certain amount of stamina. Meaning if you want to do different attacks, you end up running around in circles waiting for your stamina bar to fill up. And even if you build up enough stamina, some attacks take so long to do that the AI can just easily hit you to stop it. But why the f Fuck would I do any of that when I can just easily win by hitting one fucking button? Oh, by the way, do you want to know why you can spam moves so easily? Because the developers forgot a fucking block button. You what? Yes, a key feature in any wrestling game, the ability to counter a block attacks is nowhere to be seen, which means you're getting spammed by the AI in the corner. Well, then you've just got to deal with it because you sure as hell can't fucking reverse. Did the developers even play a wrestling game before making this? I mean, at the very least, they remember to put a pin in the game, but his, his health is Completely depleted. Can I move on now or what do I have to do? Oh, I. Willie, that's not how a pin works! There's no challenge here, there's no level of skill involved, there's no point in trying new attacks or doing anything remotely different. The animations are so bad I can't tell what's going on half the time, and the biggest sin of all is that it's just boring and dull to play. On top of the shitty controls, you get these power ups which appear about as consistently as my dad, and from what I saw, only really do two things. One, give you more health, but because the rest of the game is utterly horrendous, all that does is painfully drag out matches even longer than they have any right to be. And two, give you letters to fill up your taunt bar. Oh, what's that? You want to know what the taunt bar is? Well, would you believe me if I tell you when you fill it up, you can pull off a sick finishing move or a devastating special attack? Yeah, of course you wouldn't. All it does is give you invincibility for two seconds. <laughs> Oh, and this doesn't make the gameplay funner, if anything it makes it fucking worse. Cause when the AI gets it, there's no way for you to counter or stop them from using it, so it's just straight back to running around in circles until it fucking wears off. And sure, when you get the perk it helps, but it just makes the gameplay that much more excruciatingly dull. Even the music in this game is terrible. Like I don't know about you, but I certainly don't remember hearing this song in any of the Simpsons episodes. <laughs> Why is the music so bad in this? And when the song ends, don't worry because it just loops all over again. Oh, it's finally over. Thank fuck. My fortress of solitude. Oh no, bitch, it's on the loop. Great. You constantly hear the same sound effects from characters in the ring and in the crowd, which is tolerable the first few times, but the 51st time is a wee bit annoying. Ah, Someone should yuck. throw a soft hat 
What house? We're fucking shut the fuck up, Ralph! However, you're lucky if you can even hear the dialogue over the music, because the audio mixing is all over the shop. It basically sounds like if I did my videos like this. Can you hear me now? Everything's crystal fucking clear! Unsurprisingly, I didn't get that far into the challenger circuit, because I gave up after Apu decided to bounce on my head and pin my arse, which of course I had a very calm and not hostile at all reaction to. For fuck's sake, that's not how a pin works! After that, I subsequently took the game into my kitchen and made it a slice of toast, which was its last meal before I gave it a quick hammering. I've got to eat that now. I think it's pretty safe to say there's just nothing fun or worthwhile about this game. You know, I thought maybe the critics have been a bit harsh. There's no way it can be that bad, but trust me when I say this, it absolutely deserves to be called one of the worst games of all time. It catastrophically fails at making something like The Simpsons entertaining and forgets the fundamentals of what makes playing a fighting game fun in the first place. At the very least, I expected it to be so bad it's good, but it's just plain bad and isn't worth the hour of my life I spent playing it. Yes, I spent an hour of my life playing this and I am never getting that hour back. Right, so I think it's pretty clear I never want to touch or see this game again, so I'm going to wrap this video up here. Until next time guys, thanks for watching and if you liked the video please give it a wee like and subscribe, it helps me out massively. And until next time, I will see you all later. Fuck me.